You know something, Sean? Yeah. This sucks. <sighs> this absolutely sucks. I know. For two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row, yeah. I'm moon watching. You think two weeks, though, are bad? I hate it. You I, think two weeks are bad? I can't stand being here. Yeah. Three straight weeks. Whew. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, tough. Danucci. He's a terrible, Sean. He's, He's a terrible. terrible. He's so terrible, man. Our defense. Our defense finally showed up. And <laughs> he couldn't do shit. Bunch of turnovers. Four. We had an opportunity Four. to. We had an opportunity to win that damn game. <sighs> but we blew it. Both of our teams. What were we thinking? Moon watching. Both of us. Again. We got a moon watching streak going on here. How are we going to survive Before this? Before we start this pick em video, yeah? Bears not enough. Bears not enough? We need shots. Huh. We need shots. You already know I'm down. Come on, son. Right. Come on. I already got my little uh, Bears. <laughs> got a little farm. A little uh, shot glass here. I need to get me a cowboy one. Yeah, get a cowboy. Jesus. Get a Danucci. Oh, fuck the Danucci. All right, come on. All right. We need this. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is just awful, man. I mean, I don't like this here. I mean, at least uh, the Green Bay Packers, they're here oh, too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. At least y'all didn't lose Ooh. ground, though. At least y'all didn't lose ground. You want me to pour it? Yeah, Green Bay Packers you, are you. there. The Titans. The Rams. Oh, my God, dude. The Rams lost to the Miami Dolphins Apparently, the week. Dolphins are fucking uh, godly right now, man. How about the Patriots? They're becoming a regular around here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> they suck now. Finally, for once, they suck. All right. All right. To moon watching. To the moon watching party. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. How'd you do last week at the picks? I got 10 right. Got 10 right? It's not bad. I finally cracked the 10 mark. All right. I've been nine three straight weeks. Yeah, I got nine. I shouldn't uh, have went with Carolina. Why? Should have went with Carolina. Should have trusted. No, nah, I can't even say that. Oh, <laughs> I got lucky with Atlanta. Let's get real. Right right Welcome, everybody, here to week nine. Week nine. Yeah. In the picks. <laughs> but before we get started, week nine, we got to shout out oh. our top... 10 performers from the previous week yes, in we week eight. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Number one is Timmy with 11 points, correct? Timmy. Number two is Little Hanson, Little Tiny Hanson with Little 11 Hansen? points. Teal Seal at number three with 11. Good job. Dried Ocean with 10. That sounds like a sad song. <laughs> number five is Tolkien with 10 points. Nice. There you go. And then sixth place, we have our boy. Christopher Goodrich. Christopher up, Goodrich, Pat? yeah. I see you with 10 correct. We have uh, seventh place of Steeler Nations uh -huh. with 10 correct. Uh, eight is I Love Milfs. He's up there with 10 correct. Who doesn't? Oh, nine is Redskins for Life, 4291 with 10 correct. And 10th place is Jacobs. Was that 4858 eight? Mm -hmm. with 10 correct? There you with go. With 10 points correct. I was so close cracking that top 10. So close. Congratulations, you guys. Good job, guys. You made the top 10. Yeah. Now, here are our top 10 overall yes. on the season. Yeah. Number one is Trenton 1011 with 86 points. Nice. Number two is C. Bryant 43 with 86 points correct. Mm -hmm. Number three is David 2 with 86 points. Number four is ESPN find 0299448256 one with 86 points <laughs> and number five is silent silent guy oh shit with 86 points <laughs> and then sixth place was bears fan 2006 with 86 correct seventh place is timmy, timmy. with 85 correct eighth is trevor warren with 85 nine is dramos with 85 dramos and then tenth is me Mr. Love this theory. guy. I'm back in the top <laughs> 10, and I hope to stay here. You know, Sean, I'm getting back up there. The last two, three weeks, I've been, yeah. I've been getting really cute with my picks, going with mm -hmm. upsets, because I had a huge lead. So, so wait. And wait. you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to just stick to exactly what I feel is going to be. I'm going to use my brain, and I'm not going to just go, you know, with hmm. uh, crazy upsets. So you were getting real cute with kind of like Matt Nagy? Yeah, with I guess so. I guess so. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm still in the top, I'm in the top 10, and I'm looking to stay here. But, all right, uh, all right so week nine, mm -hmm. going to week nine, we have bye weeks for the Eagles, the Rams, the Bengals, and the Cleveland Browns. All right, all right, there <sighs> we go. So none of those teams are playing this week. I know some of them do need to recover, so interesting. Yes. Good to go. All right, are you guys ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, you ready? Oh, yeah, Sean, how about, how about the big news? What? The huge election that just oh, took place. Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't believe he won. I know. Wow. He, he, he won it. I can't believe it. Can you guys? It was, it was amazing. Yeah. 
We it, have no idea who. No, won. we don't know. As of this recording, we have no idea. It's who it's won. it's what time is it? It's like As over two o'clock in the morning. You, we we all know, but we have no idea right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, but all right, let's get ready for week nine <laughs> and let's the go. picks. <laughs> and we start off, of course, with Thursday night football. Ooh. And we have a game that we thought was going to be great. Maybe could still be, but yeah. now fell a little down on it. And I'm talking about the 49ers hosting the Green Bay Packers. Yes. 49ers took some huge injuries. A lot. One to George Kittle. Unfortunately, he went down. No. He had that knee injury, right? Uh, no, broken bone Bro- in the foot. Broken bone in the foot. Yes. And he's going to be gone for eight weeks. At least eight weeks, they said, yeah. Um, Jimmy G. He's Jimmy down. G. High ankle sprain, but it's also possible that he might have needed surgery out of this. Shit. So they said he's definitely going to go on IR. They haven't decided on surgery yet. So he's going to be uh, out, and Mullins is going to be the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens, though. <sighs> yeah, that's tough, God, man. So many injuries, man. Mm-hmm. Sucks. Yep. It sucks. Now, Green Bay Packers, they had some uh, COVID issues with their running backs. A.J. Dillon, <sighs> Jamal Williams was close to them. I think so. Right now, they have, like, two running backs uh, on their roster. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Jones, what, what's going on with him? Has he been ruled out? Like, what's happening? I, it, it's very a little concerning, you right. know? A little concerning. Now, Green Bay enters this game as five-and-a-half favorites. The over-under is sense. 50 and a half. What? Now, okay. Sean... Oh, yeah, the 49ers, yeah. do they have a shot here at home against the Green Bay Packers? They typically, historically, yeah. against Aaron Rodgers, do pretty damn well. They they do. Especially lately, they've been kicking his ass. They Yeah. But yeah, they're sp- without George Kittle. Mm-hmm. They're without Jimmy G, who's actually been sucking it up. Yeah, he um, is. So, I mean, can the 49ers still fucking hold off the Packers here at home? I don't see it. I don't see it either. I, I, so Green Aaron, Bay? Aaron Rodgers has been on an MVP type of year. Now, Green Bay is coming off of a loss. To yes. Minnesota, thanks to uh, Dalvin Cook, who went absolutely yeah. off. He was just destroying, man. He was. And they're playing pretty good defense, too, on uh, for Minnesota on uh, Green Bay. Now, just FYI, I did see, it has, it's not official. I don't know when, they might know, but Al Lazar might be activated. That'd be huge. It's a short week, so mm-hmm. they might not, but they said that he is eligible to be so, activated off of IR. Yeah. So I'm just throwing that out there. You know, Sean, you've been talking about for years. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is gonna get. He's gonna get that revenge of 49ers. <laughs> We're not talking about it. It just never really happens. Yeah. Maybe it happens now. It could. It, it really. Francisco. It really could. And you know, it sucks because we were really looking forward to this game. Uh, just because the, the NFC Championship game, right, and the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And then now it's like it's a little. Even if they win, it just doesn't have the satisfaction because they they don't have full squad in Air uh, in 49ers. So right. Fran. I'm gonna go with Green Bay in this one. Yeah, I am too. Going Green Bay. Now, would you would you go with the over under? Um, I'm gonna go with the over because I think the Green Bay could score at least thirty five. You know what? Themselves. I'm gonna go with the over because Devontae yeah. Adams is a fucking oh, yeah. man possessed right now. Definitely. And the last couple of weeks, he's just been going off. He has. He's been going off. And I just don't see anybody that can stop him on the Niners. So give us the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Um, five and a half points. I'll yeah. give the Fortnite five and a half points, and yeah. I'm gonna take the over. Yeah, same here. All right, we're going Green Bay Packers. Oh. Now heading out to Atlanta, who's now all of a sudden two and six. Hmm. Okay, Atlanta, two wins on the season. I see you. Okay, y'all getting a little momentum going here. What's going on here? But they're hosting the Green, the, the Denver Broncos, the Denver ah. Broncos, who are coming off of a win against the Chargers, which we got wrong. But we get props to Drew Locke coming in clutch in the late the fourth quarter, man. All right, so the Falcons have never won at home. They're zero and four. At home here this Ooh. season, Ooh. but uh, they open up this game at three and a half favorites. The mm-hmm. over under is forty nine point five. You see Drew Lock coming into Atlanta and taking his dub. This one is is a little tough because right, uh, Chargers looked like they were gonna they were in control of that game last week. Obviously they they didn't hold up. They didn't come up clutch. But you know what? Uh, this is really tough because I'm looking at the points for game. They're pretty much both identical points allowed. Right, twenty eight, twenty six. That's pretty similar. But looking at the points per game, yeah. Denver's not scoring as much. Here is what I saw from Atlanta last week. Yes. That impressed me a little bit. And why I'm going to go with Atlanta in this game. I'm going with Atlanta. I saw the defense play a little bit better. They did. They're playing better now. Oh, they made plays. Yes, I was they did. Really impressed Thursday night. Really impressed when they played. Yeah. Uh, they are. And you know what? And I'm going to go Atlanta too. I'm going to go Atlanta too. I don't know why. Why are we trusting Atlanta? I swear to God, they're going to probably let us down again. They're going to let us down again, aren't they? Something tells me, deep down inside, go Broncos. It's I have this weird feeling that Atlanta, 
I feel I, dirty going with the birds. I do, but I feel like for some reason Atlanta is going to come through. You know? The city of Atlanta is going to come through, Josh. Now that you said that, I feel really bad about this pick. <laughs> I feel really bad about this pick. <laughs> come on, Falcons. Don't let me down. Julio. I should go with come the, on. I should go with the Broncos here, but I'm going to stick with the Falcons. I, I like I that, just the, trust I like that their power. defense is playing a little bit better now. Yeah. Their offense is looking, uh, I mean, on paper, they're fantastic. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Oh, Todd Gurley could have a feast. Look at that. Yeah. Like, yeah, look at that rush defense of, of Denver. I'll take it. Ooh, yikes. Okay. So, going on Atlanta. And, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I think they'll win. I think they'll cover the spread. Uh, what's the over under 27? 49, 49 and a half. I'll take the over. Slight over. Like, I think they might only get, like, maybe one point over. Uh, um, but I'll... T- I'll t- yeah. Points, yeah. I'm going to go with the over. Yeah. I'm going to go with the over, too. It's going to be close, though. I'm nervous about the over under. All right. We're both going with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, last unanimously. Time, last time that happened. That lost. just does not seem right. <laughs> Okay, now to Buffalo, New York, Sean, where one day we're finally going to go out there. We're going to have some real buffalo wings. We are. Like, uh, you know, I mean, that's just where, that's and, where they originated, and right? And we're going to jump off and uh, on a, to a table, right? Yeah. With, Wait, with the Bills off of, off of Niagara Falls? Well, I wasn't going to go that high. Oh. Like, but, you know, like Bills Mafia, you know, they jump on the table mm-hmm. and... It's really cold, it's icy, and they're stupid enough to do that because they're drunk. Yeah. I can't wait. Well, the Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia, are <laughs> hosting the Seattle Seahawks. Oh. And the Bills, they're coming off of a dub. A yes, couple of are. game win streak right here against yeah. their division rivals, the Jets, and now the Patriots. They're enter this game 6-2 and two against the Seahawks, who are 6-1. and one. Yep. And the spread is in favor of the Seahawks, <laughs> who are favored by 2.5 points. The over-under is 53.5. Yes. Sean, what do you see in this game? Who you got? Oh, see, this one's tough because even though the Bills have won two straight, they haven't been convincing wins uh, against teams that they should have dominated. I'm talking about should have manhandled, I felt like. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jets, it was only a one-possession game. They only put up 18 points against the Jets. Um, New England, I thought they would have done a lot better versus them too, without, especially without uh, a lot of their players. Um so it makes me a little nervous right now with the Bills. Seahawks are coming off a great win against the 49ers. They, very good. They needed that, 37-27. So that was good. Yeah, that was a good win because some people thought that the Seahawks oh, yeah. were not going to win that game. Like, some people even no so chance, much right? far as to say they guaranteed I know. that the 49ers are going to win that game. But, but we saw right, differently. We, we saw differently. <laughs> and we were right. But, you know, this, this makes me a little nervous, Josh. I'm looking at this. Both teams are putting, uh, you know, Seattle is putting up 34 points a game. They have the worst defense, though. They have still one of the worst defenses in the league. They're giving up 28, but they're still outscoring everybody. You look at that 366 Oof. yards they're giving up per game in the air, and you're thinking Josh Allen mm-hmm. could absolutely go off against his defense. He needs to. They need Bills need to have a bounce-back win here. Mm-hmm. Or not really a bounce-back. They just need to have a convincing win against a good team. Mm-hmm. Now, can they pull it off, Josh? Can they pull it off? All right. We got... I'm going to say Bill's upset. Ooh. I'm going to go Bill's upset here. Okay. I've been riding the Seahawks. I'm not going to lie, guys. I know Seattle fans out there might be a little mad at me right now. But I I have been on Seattle's bandwagon. Russell Wilson is still playing like MVP. But Bill's, I feel like, need this win, a decisive win against a good team. And they better be fucking amped up right now. I'm telling you, if they, are, if they don't, I'm going to be very disappointed with the Bills. Mm. Okay. I feel like it's just one. I'm going with my gut here. Seattle should win this, but I'm going with my gut. You hear that? What? You hear that? What do I hear? Oh, oh no. Josh, another phone call? It's ringing off the hook, Sean. Jesus, we didn't answer it. Hook. Hello? Hey, it? it's John. Oh. Hot Take Hockey. What's up, John? How's it going, man? He's going to hate me. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, I know. Things are crazy out here. Yeah, the election's crazy, bro. It's, it's yeah. insane. Yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do. We're, we're Americans. <laughs> we like to do it crazy. Whoa. Uh, how you doing? How you doing? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, no, we're recording our pick right now. <laughs> Funny enough, we're doing the Seahawks and Bills game. He's got perfect timing. Who did Sean pick? Who do you think he picked? I picked Bills. Jesus Christ, John. Fuck, I never heard him scream that loud. Hot take hockey, my goodness. Yeah, he picked the Bills to win. Uh-huh, yeah. He says that's almost as bad as Rocha picking against the Seahawks last week. Now that's a little too far. That was bad. 
Rocha going up again? He okay. compared me to Rocha. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, John. Because this week, I got the Seahawks winning. <laughs> I got the Seahawks <laughs> winning this that, game. That was an NC? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I'll talk to you later. Yep. And stop sussing me out in Among Us. Stop it. I'm not always the imposter every game. Stop, Detective John. All right, yes, vote him off. All right, Hot Tech Hockey. We'll see you later, man. Yep. Bye bye. All right. So, uh, does he hate me now? Yes. He absolutely hates you. You made his list. Going with the Seahawks in this game. Russell Wilson, he's going to march up to Buffalo. It's a uh, cross country trip, so it's it tough. Is. It That's is. It's really tough. I understand that. It's another reason why I did it. But he's going to continue his march for the MVP race. And he's going to, because the Bills' defense, they're not they're the not same good. anymore either. They're not. It's not they're like not. they're the shutdown defense anymore. They're playing themselves. so bad right now. So give me the Seahawks. In this game, now uh, two and I'm a nervous. half. Yeah. Two and a half is the spread. So okay, um, over under fifty three and a half. I'm going over. Going over. I'm going over. Me too. I'm going over. Going Definitely. with over. Yeah. God, I, I don't, maybe I'm getting getting too cute with my pick here. I don't know, but let's see. All right, Sean. Now let's head to Nashville, Tennessee. The Titans. Remember the Titans? Oh, I remember them. Remember the Titans? I remember the Titans. Remember the Titans? Yeah. The mighty, mighty Titans. Mm. All right. So Strong the t- side. <laughs> Titans are hosting the Bears. <laughs> Chicago Bears enter this game as five and a half underdogs. Yep. And we're coming off two losses in a row yep. to the Rams, to New Orleans, and now we're facing the Titans team. A Titans team who... Just made a trade for Desmond King. Yes, they just made a trade for Desmond King. Yeah. They did just come off a huge disappointment against Cincinnati. Against the Bengals? What? The Drew, Demi, Joe yeah, they lost to a rookie. Don't forget, they also lost the week before to Pittsburgh. That's too straight for them. Also, y'all coming off two straight losses. They're coming off two straight losses. Right. So just throwing that out there. All right, so 5-2 and two versus a 5-3 and three team. Sean, mm-hmm. who you got? I'm looking at this game, Josh. <laughs> Here's the thing. I want you yep. to think of consider, okay? Okay. Okay. Our rush defense is just not the same anymore. You saw what Kamara was able to do against us. Daryl Henderson, they should have gave him the ball more yeah, to him should've. because he whenever when he ever had the ball, he did well enough against us yep. on our rush defense. King Henry, we have tackling issues sometimes throughout the game. I'm worried. I'm worried about King Henry, boy. And I am worried, too. Um, I feel like there might be another poster coming for Derrick Henry, King Henry, with another stiff arm. Um, and this guy's got the speed to outrun some of your defenders. Uh, this makes me a little nervous because John o. Smith, uh, I'm not sure if your all linebackers could be able to cover him. Hey, A.J. Brown AJ versus Brown. our secondary. That'll A.J. Brown, Kate, uh, Kyle Fuller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, A.J. Brown is a speedster, but he also got size. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be very challenging for Kyle Fuller to be able to see how he could stop him. And unfortunately, Josh, I'm going with the Tennessee Titans here. I just don't see how y'all can tackle and handle Derrick Henry. Just him alone should win them this game. I just and plus, let's get real here, Josh. Last last week at least y'all put up some points, but the week before that, only three points from your offense. I'm not sure if I could trust your offense now with Desmond King over there in Tennessee. Been able to do it. Pour me another shot. You need another shot? Yeah, go ahead. Pour me another shot. Oh, shit. Because let me tell you something, Chicago Bears, we have some issues. All right, and I'm sick and tired of hearing the same old bullshit after every game with these press conferences with Matt Nagy. We know what the issues are, and he keeps BSing us. He keeps BSing us. In that game against uh, New Orleans, man, we I thought we were I thought we were looking fine, right? Yeah. Early in that game, we were feeding David Montgomery. Oh, yeah. He was looking okay. We were going. We were taking some shots deep to Mooney, Mooney. to Allen Robinson. I like that one. Catch Rob, he had, yeah. Played fantastic, man. Yeah. You know, but you know, Nick Foles, he made some bad plays. The play calling got fucking retarded. I didn't understand it. I, he promised us that we were going to see a lot more of Cole commit. We didn't see that, so I, I didn't understand that. I don't understand what Matt Nagy's doing. I don't understand how he's still the play caller for this team. He needs gun. He's, he's done. I've been calling it now. He's gone. I've been calling Stop play calling. So in this game, unfortunately, Chicago Bears fans, you know I always have hope, and I will be rooting for my Chicago Bears through and through because I am one of the most passionate fans you'll ever see for Chicago. I love this team, but I got to keep it real, and I'm going to say the Titans are going to win this game. Yeah. Jesus. Take a shot, man. I know that's hard. That's tough. And y'all are, y'all are five and three teams. So, yeah, you definitely got to have hope that this team can pull it out. <sighs> Let's see what we can do, man, yeah. on the road. We are three and one on the away on the road. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Okay. Let's All right. Y'all so, keep the going. spread's five and a half, though. Oh. You give us, the, the, giving us the points or no? 
I think it's going to be a three-point game. So, yeah, I, I think y'all are good. Okay. Y'all can keep it within three. Against the Against the spread, I'm going with the Chicago Bears. Okay. I think it, I think we can keep it close mm-hmm. if we play what we should be doing, our yeah. brand of football. Lock up on defense. Tackle. And, and run smart, efficient plays. Get mm-hmm. our tight ends involved. Go more to Mooney. Seriously. Take more shots downfield. Please do. Let's go. And Nick Foles, stop seeing ghosts out there, bro. <laughs> stop seeing ghosts out there. He's on Sam Darnold's level? Yeah. 46 and a half is the over-under. Ooh, what do you got? I'm going under. Going under? Yeah, I mean, look, these two teams, these defenses, I'm going to go with the under. Yeah. Let's go. As well. All right, let's move on to this crucial-ass game, Sean. Oh. Indianapolis Colts Ooh. hosting the Baltimore Ravens. The Colts are 5-2. and two. The Ravens are 5-2. and two. Mm-hmm. Ravens are coming off of a loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers where Lamar Jackson did not look good at all. Marquise Brown, yes. Hollywood Brown, was upset during that game. Barry. After the game, he tweeted out saying, why are you going to have some soldiers out there and you're not even going to use them? Yep. It's kind of crazy, man. And that's no that's actually very true, man. A lot of their passing game goes straight to the tight ends. I understand that. But if you got these speedy receivers, you gotta find a way to get it in their hands and let them make plays after the catch. Right. And now, they're not doing that. Pittsburgh showed their defense, yep. especially in the first half, and clutched there at the end. Yep. The Pittsburgh's offense kind of they look good and then they kind of went away a little bit. And I thought they were gonna mm-hmm. choke that game. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness, come on. But uh the score the final score was twenty eight to twenty four in that one. That was a great game. But uh here's Baltimore. On the road against another stellar defense, the yes. Indianapolis Colts. But do the Colts have enough mm. offensively against the Ravens' defense That's to true. pull it off here at home? That's the question. That's the yeah. biggest question for me. Now, well, another big question that you also got to keep in mind, Josh, is that there has been some COVID concerns with Baltimore right now with a lot of close persimony. And injuries. Yeah, and injuries. Stay- Stanley? Stanley, sorry. Uh, he's out with a... Bad ankle injury. Yeah. I think he had a broken an- ankle. Right. So he's out. Then also, I think their guard, he's out. I'm not sure how long he's down for. Um, so there's a lot of concern in Baltimore right now with everything that's going on. So you look at that offensive line. It's looking a little shaky going into this game. And yep. you are going to be against the Indianapolis Colts, one of the best defenses, one of the fastest, one yep. of the most ferocious defenses, mm-hmm. especially in that front seven where they can really get to Lamar Jackson. That's oh. what Pittsburgh was able to do. They yes, were able they were. to disrupt Lamar Jackson and contain him. Oh, he yeah. forced him to fucking throw the ball, and he was looking like trash. Mm-hmm. Colts can do that too. Yes, Hell, they can. They could probably do it better. They could. Darius Leonard, one of the best young linebackers in the game. Man, this team, they're only giving up less than 80 yards per game. 79.9, so just about 80. On the ground. On the ground. That's key. That's what we looked at last week. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what we looked at last week when we said Pittsburgh could win that game. We now, looked at their run defense, and that's what prevailed. You look at their points allowed per game, right? Mm-hmm. It's very it's very close, right? 18.9 to 19.4 in favor of uh, Baltimore, right? Yes. They, have a, they allow just a little bit less mm-hmm. points per game, right? Yep. You look at points scored per game, and you know what? Surprisingly, it's pretty close. It's pretty actually close. Baltimore yeah. scores 29 points a game. Indianapolis, 28.3. Ooh. Did not think that was... That's kind of crazy, right? right? They're pretty similar in pretty much all the aspects. But so I, and then and you know Ravens are two and a half favorites. They're, so they're favorites. basically a pick 'em. Okay, pretty much straight up. We got. You know what, Josh? I used this logic last week. I'm going to use it again because it didn't fail me last week. I'm going Colts to win this because of their run defense and making Lamar Jackson have to throw the ball. I'm going to trust in what I looked at last week with Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh run defense is good. They can hold them under that. Or less than what they usually average. They can win this game. Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens are averaging less than 200 yards passing. There's a reason. Because they can run it down your throat. You're not going to be able to do that against this team. Hmm. So you're going to have to do something you're not comfortable with. Give me the Colts. So what I want to see from Lamar Jackson after that loss and after hearing his star wide receiver said what he said... He's going to have to have a stellar game against Indianapolis. It's mm-hmm. a tough defense. It's all order to, to make. But if he wants to put some of those doubters to rest just a little bit, just stay, just or just stave them off a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, he's going to have to have a good game here. He's going to have to pass the rock a little bit Yep. in this game and get Hollywood Brown and some of these other guys like Mark Andrews involved. But I'm going to Indianapolis. You're going Colts too? I'm going Indianapolis. Ah, okay. Give me the Colts. I like it. Give me the Colts. The over-under is 45 and a half. Under. I'm actually going to go with the under in this one. I'm too. With these two defenses, yeah. give me the under. Give me the under. 
Let's go. All right, let's head to Kansas City, Ooh. where the Chiefs are seven and one, hosting the Carolina oh. Panthers, who are three and five. And uh, the spread is ten and a half in favor of Kansas City. Should be. Oh, hello. No. Yes. Yep. Uh huh. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Donnie, relax. Calm down. Stop screaming in my ear, Donnie. You're getting on my last nerves. You're calling me every 15 minutes. I'm gonna choose the Kansas City Chiefs. You thought I was gonna go with the Carolina Panthers? Come on. Now he wants to know who you got. Is there any question? It's Chiefs. He's going. He's going with the Chiefs, Johnny. How can we not stop calling me? Go. I don't know how you keep getting my number, dude. How does the couch call you? I don't know. I don't know how he it's does. It's crazy. It. But give us a Kansas City Chiefs. There's no question. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not gonna even look at the numbers. Panthers can't score enough to now, keep up the, with the Chiefs. What's the word on Christian McCaffrey? Uh, well, he should be back. Can right? he be back in this game or not? He was practicing all last week. Mm-hmm. But has he been officially activated off the IR? He hasn't. So what's going on there? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of concerning. So let me look at this. Uh, Carolina, three-game losing streak. Kansas City, three-game win- winning streak. Hmm. Give me Kansas City. Yeah. I will give Carolina the 10.5 points. I will too. And uh, the over-under is 52.5. Oh. I'm going to go with the over. Kansas City, just touch, touch I, I think they can score at least 30 points themselves. All right. Uh, actually, give me the under. I think it will be 30 to 20. 14 or something like that. I'll go with the over. I'll go with the over and improve to 8-1, the Kansas City Chiefs. Now let's head to Minnesota, where the Vikings are coming off a big win against the Cheeseheads. Good job. Okay, Vikings, I see you. 2-5, yeah. and five, but you're winless at home. You're looking for your first win. What? And uh, maybe you could come against the Detroit Lions, who are 3-4, and four, coming off of a loss themselves. Mm. Yep. Vikings are four-point favorites. Now the Detroit Lions did lose Kenny Galladay. <sighs> He left the game last week with a hip injury, that sucks, and he man. will not be playing in this game. Oh, that sucks. Kenny Galladay, how many times has he been hurt this year? I hate to see that. Right. But, hey, Vikings, they came out their bye week, they got down with Cook back, and they fucking ran it down uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Throws. And I like the defense they play. They were oh, getting yeah. to Aaron Rodgers. Phenomenal. I like that. So give me the Minnesota Vikings mm-hmm. in this game. Dalvin Cook is on a mission. I am going to go with the – Vikings also. As long as they have Dalvin Cook and he's healthy, that's the key here. It's always been his key every year. As long as he's healthy, he's one of the best backs in the game. He's They're going to win. All right, four-point spread. Uh, you give the Lions uh, the <laughs> points? I will give the Lions the points, yes. Okay. Over-under is 53-and-a-half. I'm going to give them the points as well. Mm. Over-under is 53-and-a-half. I'm going to go with the over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those look at the defenses. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the Jesus. over. Jesus. Marvin Jones, look for him, man. He should, he should have a pretty decent he had game. Two touchdowns last week. Yeah. All right, let's go to the NFC least. <laughs> Washington. The Washington no names, two yeah. and five, are hosting the New York Giants and who are one and seven. They haven't won a single game on the road. Their only one w- w- uh, win once. was at home. Yeah. And they're coming off of a loss to Tampa Bay. They made that pretty close. They did. A lot closer than we thought. Yeah. So give props to Danny Dimes. I guess. I guess. I don't know. No, honestly, I'll give props. If to you would have threw calling. that ball sooner, that le- and that two point conversion. Yeah. They, they would have had it. They could have won. They, like, they would have sent to overtime at least. You know, we never know what might happen. They would have had it. Would have went to overtime. Yeah. Bada boom, bada bing. Who knows? You but that's know. Giants football. That's Danny Dimes. And I already mm-hmm. know the New York Giants fan base is getting about fed up with Danny Dimes. But um, what is crazy is he did pretty solid. I know he threw two picks. But besides that, he did pretty solid against a pretty solid Bucks defense that had been getting turnovers mm-hmm. and doing great. So... I'm going to say he did now, make some mistakes, but he still did pretty solid. Now, the last time these two teams played, because it was just just weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Um, Washington, they lost to that's New right. York by one point. And that's because <sighs> of Washington's decision to try to go for the win at the end. They went for two that's there. That's right. And I picked Washington to win that game, and you picked Giants. And that was one of the ones we're different on. So what's going to happen this time, Josh? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that sound was, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go Washington this time around. I am too. I, I'm gonna. St- I, I went Washington last time. I'm gonna go Washington this time. I think they should. Win this, this time, time I'll go with Washington. Yeah. This time I will go with Washington. Mm-hmm. Just get the job done, please. Beat scary Terry. Go. Oh, and, and Gibson's doing phenomenal uh, as mm-hmm. with his uh, looks. So I like Gibson. I like scary Terry. They're coming off a of bye week. They're coming off a of bye week. 
Let's go. All right. Uh, let's go, Washington No Name Team. Come on. All right. So Washington is favored by three. I think they Washington could beat. They'll the win Giants. by three. I think they. I think they'll beat them by at least six. Okay. Yeah. Over under is forty one and a half. You going with the over or the under? Oh, I'm going under. Uh, I know. I'm gonna go with the under too. Just their offenses. They're yeah. both averaging less than twenty points. So. All right. I'm going Washington. And we're going with the under. Yeah. Now let's head to Jacksonville, Duval Ooh. County, Florida, Duval. where the Jaguars are hosting their division rival, the Houston Texans. There's yeah. two wins between the two. Oh my one god. One apiece, and there is no spread right now. No wait, no, oh, there is, is. Yeah. six and a half points yeah. in favor of the Houston Texans, and mm-hmm. the over under is fifty one and a half. Oof. Now, remember, Jacksonville guys is starting their sixth round pick. Uh, what's his name? Luton? 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 Starts with an L. L- I can't remember. Because L- who? it's a sixth round pick. Mm-hmm. You know, let's get real here. Is he really going to be any better than Gardner Mission? Right. Probably not. All right. I'm going to go with the Houston Texans here. I'm going to go with Deshaun yeah. Watson, Will Fuller, who... Ch- Almost, almost got traded away. Almost got traded. Uh, Packers almost had it, but they just couldn't come to terms. I'm going to go with the Houston Texans here. I am too. Uh, the Jaguars are just giving up way too much in the air. Yeah. Deshaun Watson should be fine. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I think this could be a good game still. Even I know that Deshaun, they have Deshaun Watson, but just the the Texans defense isn't playing that great. They're giving up a lot of yards on the ground. Mm-hmm. Jacksonville, they do have that James Robinson kid right. that is playing phenomenal. He is. So I think it might be a close game. I, I don't so want it that, to, the spread concerns me. I think it's gonna be a three point game. So that's why I'm gonna give Jacksonville the six and a half Same. points. So against the spread, I'll go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Straight up, I'm gonna go with the Texans. Mm-hmm. Over under is fifty one and a half, and I'm gonna go with the over. I am too. Exactly. Okay. Well, that was easy. Oh yeah. Now let's head to a division rivalry game here, Ooh. where the Raiders are on the road against the Los Angeles Chargers. Who oh, gave up? A, the, they had it. The spread is one and a half, so it's, it's pretty much a straight up pick. Okay, straight game. up. Okay. Fifty three and a half is the over under. Who you got? You got the Waiters or you got the Chargers? I'm sorry. For some reason, the Chargers just they they cannot find ways to win close games. They don't. What they, they blow it. They blew it. They finally beat Jacksonville, but that was one of the wor- worst defenses. And they they just keep losing close games. Look at it. Each game they've lost has been a one possession game. Raiders. They're coming off a win against Cleveland. Great win, by the way. Mm-hmm. Great win. I know they lost to Tampa pretty big, but like like we talked about last time, there's a lot of calls that could go another way. All right. I'm actually going to pick the Raiders. The Raiders. You heard me correct. Is going to win this game. I feel like that Josh Jacobs should have a good game. Uh, Derek Carr, all these guys, Henry Ruggs. Um, and let's not forget that the Chargers don't have Desmond King anymore. Uh, I think the Raiders should be able to win this game. Defenses are very similar. They are. They very, are. Very, very similar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So who do I trust? Justin Herbert, who could be a rookie of the year. Well, Herbert has been playing phenomenal. Derek Carr. Yeah. Get Henry Ruggs involved. True. Maybe if the refs don't fuck shit up. True. To give, feed Josh Jacobs the ball. It's you know what? Pound Give the me the Raiders there we go. to get this win on the road and improve to five and three. The over under is fifty three and a half. I'll go with the over. Yeah, I'm gonna go over because it's just the simple fact their defenses suck. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. All right. Let's. This game. Next game is really tough. This is a tough one, folks. I don't. I've been up all last night just thinking about this one. Here we are. Are you ready for this one? The Dallas Cowboys hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, I know. America's team versus America's real team. Because, you know, I I just think there's just so many more Pittsburgh Steelers fans out there. That's just what I see. But anyway, Steelers are undefeated. They're coming here to Arlington against the Dallas Cowboys, Sean. Andy Dalton went on the COVID list. He's he's going to be out. Officially, he's out already. So COVID it's list. Danucci. Not so sh- not so fast. Really? Right? Not so fast. Uh, a report came out uh, today or yesterday. I can't remember. Um, I think it was today that they said that Cowboys are really strongly considering a calling up two guys from our practice squad. Possibly either one, Cooper Rush. Remember everybody? Remember him a couple years ago? He's our backup. A uh, him or a uh, Gilbert? Uh, Garrett Gilbert is his name. So one of those two guys. They're not sold on Ben, uh, ben oh, Danucci. Gucci Danucci did not look that Gucci in the game last week. He had opportunities. Our defense gave four turnovers. And he couldn't score one touchdown. So are you gonna talk like this for the rest of the game? <laughs> who do you got? <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know. No, honestly, it doesn't matter who we put back there. 
Uh, it could be it could be fucking Danucci, it could be Dalton, it could be any of these fucking guys. It could be Troy Aikman, it could be Johnny it could be Unitas, anybody. it could be Peyton Manning. Well, I want to go that far. Okay, <laughs> now you're going a little bit far. But, no, it doesn't Rocha. matter. It, we might have a better chance because they wouldn't be able to tackle them. Um, but no. <laughs> Our offense line can't block. Our offense line is trash right now. We have too many injuries. Uh, only people that are healthy right now is our two guards. Um, oh. Our tackles are horrible. TJ Watt, I saw what he did against Baltimore, and he looked great. He's going to massacre our O-line. Massacre. So you got Pittsburgh? I'm going Pittsburgh. I don't want to know the spread. Don't even tell me it. Just put it on the screen. I'm, They're going to cover it. Doesn't matter. I'm going Pittsburgh as well. And I'll just say this. Why the hell is the spread only 13 and a half in favor of Pittsburgh? Like, what? Wait, it's only 13? Who, who the hell thinking is that the Dallas Cowboys are going to score points against Pittsburgh's defense? Or are going to get the amount of turnovers that they got against New York against Pittsburgh's offense? What the hell is this? It's only 13? It should be a 19 and a half spread at least. I thought it was going to be 19. That's why I didn't want to hear it. But you said 13? It's a 13 and a half <laughs> spread in favor of Pittsburgh's defense. I'll even say it. Oh, shit. Yeah, Pittsburgh's going to cover that. They're going to they're gonna beat you guys by like 20 points. Oh, I already know that, Josh. You don't have to keep saying it. The over the over under is forty one and a half. Hell, they might score forty five points themselves. Are you getting enjoyment out of this? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but no, you're honestly. There's no lie there. I, I mean, think they're going to score mean, at least thirty five points themselves. I mean, look, your defense is giving up thirty three points, and they're averaging thirty points a game. So that's why I think they're going to probably put up about thirty five minimum. We might. I don't think we'll even put up ten points. I think at the most we put up ten points. We can't put up 10 points, Josh. We've literally scored, what, 10 points, 3 points, and then this past week, 9 points. Um, we can't score more than 10. You guys are giving them 170 yards on the ground per game, so please start Connor. Start him at all costs. Start him. Going with the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> yeah, they're going to cover the spread. 41 and a half. Yeah, I think they're going to go over. So, All right. I have no hope. I would need this, but I already know there's no hope for my Cowboys. So, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> at least we're not on prime time. We'll probably be <laughs> we'll probably be moon watching together, you know, yeah, next week. Both of, again, again, yeah. again. Yeah, it smells out there too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know. If the Jets fans are stinking up the joint. Well, you they, know, they've been, they've been there all year. year. Jesus <laughs> Christ! There all year. They've been fighting with the Patriots fans. Who have been there a lot this it, year too. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's weird. Dude, the, the AFC East and the NFC East have been filling it up. I know. The East just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head out to Arizona where the Carters are coming off a of bye week. They're 5-2, yep. hosting the Miami Dolphins, Ooh. who are 4-3 and three and are looking good, man. Tua got his first win. Dude, this this game is exciting feel, to me, okay? I'm so happy. Who yeah. would have thought this in the beginning of the season, all right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not too many people, but I'm excited about this game. Arizona, Kyler Murray yep. against Tua. Kyler Murray's offense against Dolphins' defense. They're playing phenomenal. This is going to be a, an exciting game here, I yes, think. Yes, it is. And the Dolphins are four and a half underdogs entering this game. The over-under is 47 and a half. Mm -hmm. Who you got in this one? Oh, see, this one's a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. You know, Dolphins' defense is playing a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Because, But you know what? It makes sense, though. They put a lot of fucking money into that defense, getting Byron Jones and all those guys, right? Mm -hmm. Xavier Howard. All these, these motherfuckers are good fucking players, and they paid a lot of money, and they're doing great. They're not letting them down. They're only giving up 18 points per game. 18 so, points per game. And you know what? Both teams, by the way, mm -hmm. are on a three-game winning streak. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. I, and you know what? But the thing is, I will say, is I'm, a more, I'm more impressed with the Dolphins because they beat the Rams and they beat the Niners, which nobody thought they had a chance, mm -hmm. and they dominated those guys. They dominated those two teams. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Jets they beat twenty four to zero. You know, obviously this is the Jets, so I'm not. There's not much to be excited for that. Mm -hmm. So you know what, this one actually is I, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. It really is. Um, now Arizona is going to have Chase Edmonds, and I yes. think a lot of us are excited about that because Kenya Drake. He was just kind of bummy, you know. I think yeah, just was. very let, just like, yeah. There's nothing to get excited about, Kenyon Drake. He's just, yeah. Bleh. 
But Chase Edmonds, every oh. time they give that dude the ball, he makes good on his opportunities. He does. And now he's going to get a lot of work here off a of bye week. I'm excited to see what Chase Edmonds can do. Mm-hmm. And he's got a good, tough matchup against Dolphins. So does. they're really going to need him. Now, but here's – so this is a tough matchup for me. And I want to lean towards a team that has a better defense. Yeah. That's where I'm thinking I'm going to go with. Well, I'm thinking about going. The team with a better defense, Josh, is the Dolphins. Dolphins. I, th- I think I might go with the Dolphins here. But, oh, my goodness. Kyler Murray and them. Like, Kyler Murray's been pretty awesome, man. He pulled off a great upset against Seattle, gave them their first loss. Great job. In overtime. Sean, I'm getting props to that. I'm going to go with Miami here. Bro. Are you fucking kidding Wait. me? Wait, hold on. What? Is this the first time I've picked Miami all year? I think it is. Wait, no, 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 no. No, we picked I, Miami I picked, versus the Jets. We picked the Miami Never Dolphins mind, mind, over mind. the Jets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We did. All we right. Did. Okay. I'm going Miami. Dude, I can't believe you picked Miami. I'm going up against Arizona. Kyle Murray, who's one of my favorite players now, you know. It is. But I'm going to go. I'm going uh, Dolphins. Fins up. Fins up. I cannot believe you're going the Dolphins, Josh, because I'm going the Dolphins. You're going Dolphins? I thought we were going to be different on this pick. Okay. I wanted to be different. Son of a bitch. But that was a good pick, though. I I, I think the Dolphins' defense. I'm, that's why I'm going with them. All right, four and a half. Uh, the Cardinals are favored by... <sighs> they cover the spread. I you're, think you're they giving could. Dolphins of pay, the points. Well, uh, well, Dolphins, We they're the uh, they're the underdogs. So, so we're both going Dolphins. Yeah, so. either way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We're going... Yeah. And 47 and a half is the over-under. I'm going to go with the under. Yeah. Go with the under there. All right. Now heading to prime time. Prime time. And before we get to our prime time picks, it's time for our prime time leg spike. Ah! Brought to you by absolutely nobody. Nothing. nothing no one. So yeah. make sure you guys hit that like button if you're watching on the premiere. Yes, I'm looking right <laughs> at you, mister. Hit that like button. And if you're watching the replay, thank you guys so much Gosh, for tuning in. You don't know if that person declares as a mister. That person that I just assumed their gender. You just assumed. Uh, this is yeah. Hello, YouTube. I've been canceled. <laughs> Tough. I'm burning it all down. I'm taking everybody <laughs> with me. I got dirt on everybody. Oh, so, trust me, Eddie. Eddie, he's my guy on the inside, and he's got dirt on all you guys. That briefcase. That's re- yeah, we yeah, exactly. What do you think he's got the briefcase <laughs> for shit. <laughs> all right, let's head to prime time. The Tampa yes. Bay Bucks are hosting the New Orleans Saints. Bucks are six and two. Mm-hmm. Saints are five and two. Brady versus Ooh. Drew Brees. Rematch. We, hey, yo, Godwin, is he gonna be playing? Oh my god. Michael Thomas, <sighs> is he gonna be finally playing? Come on. At least Michael Thomas. I mean, Godwin, I don't think he's gonna be playing. He's definitely gonna be questionable. I heard that he might be out multiple weeks because he oh. had that fractured finger. Come on! He had a fractured finger! So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. But I like this. This is a rematch. Remember, Saints took care of business. Against the Bucks last time, yeah, they, they shut that shit down. Yeah. So will they do it again? All right. So uh, the Bucks are five and a half favorites here mm-hmm. at home. The over under is fifty one and a half. Tom Brady barely getting by New York last week. <sighs> I feel like that's just his Achilles heel. Yeah. New York. Ah, Bucks are on a three game winning streak. Mm-hmm. The Saints are on a four game winning streak. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Let's see the Bucks Damn. defense is stepping up lately. Ooh, look at that defense! Oh. That rush yards allowed only seventy. Can they really contain Kamara like that, though? I don't know. Kamara could, in the passing game, Latavius Murray's been pretty solid one-two punch. You know what? This ah. is division rivalry. Saints really uh, knocked them on their heels the last time they played. So I'm gonna go with the split here. Give mm-hmm. me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Same. I went the Saints at week one. I think we both picked the Saints week one when they played. We're both going Bucks this time. It's a split. They're too good of a team yeah. uh, to, to sweep one or the other. So, yeah, go split. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be a close one. So, against the spread, I'm going to go with New Orleans. I think the Bucks, I'll give them the five and a half. I think the Bucks can take cover it because I think they'll win at least by six points. Barely. Barely. I think the Saints win are being the uh, Bucks win by six points and barely cover it. Over under is fifty one and a half points. Uh, I might go. I might go under. He. Oh no, no no. No, I'm gonna go with over. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna, I'm go, gonna over. go with the over. We will be streaming this game. Ooh. It should be a good one. It should be a juicy matchup. We're gonna Please. Have, we're gonna have some fun. So come hang out with us for this game. Prime time football. Prime time football. Sean, are you ready for Monday Night Football? I usually say yes, but I can't. I can't say yes. All right, one. we have the New York Jets against the New England Patriots, and combined they have two wins, both by the Patriots. 
The Patriots enter this game as seven point favorites. The over under is forty two and a half points. Do you think the Jets get their first win? I don't think I can pick the Jets at all. But but the uh, the uh, Patriots suck too. I don't. What is there? I can't even get excited for this. I just want to. I want to pull a Rogelio right now. Just you know. But yeah, Ugh. this game. Um, this game's a shit game. Uh-huh. We all know it. Um, I'm never gonna pick the Jets all year because they want to lose. Literally. Yep. Uh, I'm going Patriots because even though they don't look like they care, give a fuck about winning either. Right. Uh, Jets suck worse. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Listen. I've heard this conspiracy. Yeah. That what if Belichick blows b- both games against the Jets this year and tries to go for Trevor Lawrence? That'd be so unfair. No way Belichick does that. Patriots win the game. Same. Mm-hmm. Now, the spread is seven points, Josh. All right, hold on. Just calling phoning a friend. Okay. I didn't know that was even an option. It's a long ass fucking phone number. What was he, 1-800 and you're entering a code? Was this a Google call? Yeah, hello? Yeah, can, can I speak to Ghost, please? Yeah, I'll hold. Wait. Hey, what's up, Ghost Skittle? Huge Patriots fan. I wonder what he's going to say. Huge Patriots fan in the last, what, three uh, years? I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ghost Skittle, should I... Do you guys think the Patriots are going to cover the spread here? You guys are favored by seven points. You guys, can you guys cover that? Can you guys score at least seven points on them and win that game? Uh huh. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Uh huh. Yeah. Bye. 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 So, so you know, whatever you he, said, you have to go opposite, right? He thinks they're going to beat them by like forty-seven points. That could be forty-seven points, but I think they'll cover the spread. So yeah, <laughs> I'll give the uh, yeah. They're going to cover that spread. Let's go. You know, it's crazy with the spread. I haven't done this all year, but I think it's going to be even. I think they'll literally only win by seven points. I think th- my prediction for the score is 20 to 13. I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game. I think it's going to be vote, low scoring. That's why I'm going to go with the under either way. I think it's going to be. Oh, I'm even. definitely going with the under. Yeah. Jesus. My prediction look, I have 20 to 13. 20 to 13. Before I even knew the point, uh, the, the spread, I'm going 20 to 13 score. <sighs> yeah. It's not gonna. It's, I'm going with the under. It's gonna be a low scoring game. It's probably gonna be the one of the worst prime time games we've ever streamed. But I don't know. Oh, Jesus, please. I, can, I don't even. I don't even go fuck about the stats or the numbers. Okay. I don't give a shit if I'm go wrong on the Patriots. On this, pick. this sucks. All right, that does it for our pick 'em for yeah. week number nine. I feel pretty confident about this week, though. All right, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the picks? Yeah. Huh? Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>